the ship is not there yet. It should have been there on Saturday. Today's Monday. This is the lowest ship in history. <laughs> We're Luca and Julia, and this is our adventure. In this episode, we take you to Montevideo, Uruguay, where we impatiently wait for the arrival of our home on wheels Papero aboard a container ship. Will we finally get to see him again? Spoiler, we will. Watch to follow along. Where are we going? To Montevideo. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome to Uruguay. Yes, we made it to Montevideo, safe and sound this morning. And it's a very beautiful city, very green, like Buenos Aires, but it's an even more relaxed vibe. Yeah. It's right. It's very calm. Yeah, it's very calm. It, maybe even more dogs. It's a huge rambla right next to the beach. And yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. We'll stay here today, tomorrow. It's the weekend, so nothing will happen. Tomorrow the papro should get here. And then on Monday, we'll finally start the procedures to unload it and basically import it into the country. I think we will get the papro earliest on Wednesday. But let's see, we have no idea. Nobody has explained anything to us. The best source of information we found is YouTube <laughs> from other travelers that did this before. And it seemed fairly uncomplicated, though relatively long, yeah. but hopefully no more than a few days. Um, we love it here, but we don't want to stay a long time in Montevideo because it's quite expensive. It's almost Swiss prices, honestly, especially for food. So yeah, um, we'll leave as soon as we can and get wild and finally start overlanding. Where are we going? To the beach. Yes! It's very hot today. And humid. <laughs> yes, that's true. Just here trying to get some shade from this super small tree. Compared to Europe, it's like end of March, end of September here. It's already quite hot and humid, so not too pleasant. At least for me, I love the cold. We are trying to go into the water, but it's apparently quite cold. There's no bodies in the water. Ooh, it's cold! <laughs> we spent our second day in Montevideo, a uh, Sunday, relaxing in the Positos area and waiting out the arrival of the Papero. The ship was further delayed and even if we enjoyed the sunny weather and relaxed atmosphere, we were getting pretty impatient. We made it to the Ciudad Vieja this morning and we're walking towards the port. The ship is not there yet. It's anchored 15 miles outside of the port, which is very annoying. This is the lowest ship in history. <laughs> There's only one place in the port of Montevideo for such large ships and it's taken right now and we don't know when the other ship will leave. The forecast says that our ship should be there at 12, but it's 10 a.m. It sounds very unlikely. Hopefully it will make it by tonight. It should have been there on Saturday. Today's Monday. It should gonna... have been 10 days ago, actually. Yeah, that's true. Here we are. Made it to Eduardo. <laughs> Lo trasladan al otro depósito. Sí. Vamos a andar muy bien el tiempo. Yo lo que necesito es fotocopia. De fotocopia de todo, mm -hmm. perfecto. Ah, yo le saco fotocopia y ustedes se quedan con los originales. Bien. Gracias. Nos vemos pronto. Así será. <laughs> ok. Step one uh, completed. We still need to get all the other documents first anyway. So go to Migraciones to get this Certificado de Gada for me. Uh, and uh, then the confirmation of the insurance. Yes. Let's go and meet Sonia Marcel. Yes, let's go. And we have it. Certificado de Llegada. All right. It's proceeding well, but yes. the ship is still not here. <laughs> no, the ship is still anchored outside the port, which is very frustrating. But um, at least we're getting that satisfaction that comes from 
getting bureaucratic things done. <laughs> things off, I'll, I'll check this. And you know, in Spanish, the word waiting and the word hoping is the same word. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this insurance, huh? Yep. Let's go, fingers crossed. <laughs> We're the second number of the day. <laughs> because they open at 12. <laughs> One hour later. <laughs> We have the insurance. We're done for today. We've done a lot of bureaucratic stuff. And the good news is, the ship is moving. <laughs> Got our lunch in a canteen, basically. A big buffet, and yeah, we got a kilo of food. And now we are rushing to the port. We found on Google Maps a spot where we probably can go and see the ship entering the port. We're having lunch. Our ship is somewhere out there. I think we'll still take a while. So that's our ship, but I guess we will not see our pass and uh, get into port because a uh, storm is coming. We better get going. Yeah. Hello, Papero, we see you. Here we are. We took a quick nap and rested for a bit. The good news is our ship has finally arrived. We saw it from a distance and then a huge storm came. So we went back to the hostel and we went to bed for the nap. But now the storm is gone. So we'll go out again to the port and go check out the ship. Let's go. There's the ship. Yes, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Yes. And the sun came out. It's incredible. It's so beautiful. It's raining with the sun. Oh, I think there will be a rainbow. I can see it from the camera, but I don't know if you can see with the naked eye. You can? <laughs> that night, we went back to the hostel. Some other travelers had invited us onto the terrace to grill pizza. Pizza la parrilla. The Argentine way. As Italians, we were a bit suspicious. We have to admit that the pizza was delicious. <laughs> Day two in the Ciudad Vieja, and we're still waiting. Hello. Where are coffee, we? Coffee, coffee. It's coffee? In, an old pharmacy. in an old pharmacy. Yeah, very pretty. They brought us some very good coffee. Can't wait to have the coffee in the bathroom. We're still waiting, still no news. We got word from Eduardo finally. Appointment for the car is tomorrow at 1 pm. <laughs> It's Wednesday. We hope it's today. We don't know. We hope it's today. It is the day that we have an appointment at 1 p.m. at Eduardo's office. We have to bring approximately a thousand dollars and then we don't know what will happen. We think it might be the day we open the container and we saw that it might be that we can get the papero out immediately but we don't know this so fingers crossed and stay tuned. So we met Eduardo and the rest of the group and it's confirmed we're going to open the container now so we're walking to the port. So we spoke to Eduardo, we are at the border of the port um, and apparently we're gonna get the cards today <laughs> which is such good news, it's super exciting, we're very very happy about this, really can't wait. <laughs> We're gonna take the papero today! <laughs> this was completely unexpected. Also, wie glücklich is idea. Yeah. Mega. Und du? Schön überraschend. Eduardo drove us through the port to the location where the container had been unloaded so we could finally open it.
Moment of truth. After six weeks. Oh, looks good. Yes. So, engine fired up right away. That's great. Unloading is done. That was quick and easy, actually. It smells a bit bad inside, but um, we just need some fresh air. But no mold, nothing, no dirt, no damages. Perfect. Uh, super happy. Now Eduardo's finishing uh, some paperwork, some more paperwork in the office here. Then we'll go back to the entrance to the customs building. Julia and Cindy are waiting there because only uh, one driver per vehicle was allowed to come in here. And also it's a weird feeling seeing the Pavero here and knowing that we are in South America, finally, together with him. That's uh, crazy, unbelievable. So, so, so happy. It's unreal. The Pavel is here and we can already drive it away. Like we can already move into it, which is so exciting. We're in the Pavel. We're here. It starts. It it does. Everybody says this. We watched many videos on YouTube that say it. Everybody says it feels very unreal and it does. It to me feels unreal. It feels like, totally unreal. I can't I, I can't believe it. This it is will so... take some time. Yes. But we're we're extremely happy. That for sure. Everything went very smoothly. Customs were super easy. The guy there was so nice. Yeah, had a good laugh about the uh, the name of the car. The yes. Body the model because here it's called Pajero Sport and in Uruguay, Argentina and all Spanish speaking uh, countries it's called Montero because well Google Pajero in Spanish and you'll understand why it's a bad word so <laughs> yes. yeah and they were checking all the data what they had in the system what's on the vehicles registration and when they got to the model they both got silent looked at each other and started laughing yes it was really amusing to see <laughs> We just left the port, you can still see all the containers and first things first, <laughs> filling up as the fuel tank was empty, we had to drive it as empty as possible into the container for safety reasons. If you remember, we had hung up these uh, dehumidifiers, which were great because look at how much water is in there and how much old while the car is super clean. Papa was clean, that's perfect, but I did not expect this much water. Next time, I guess, we might buy even more. <laughs> Getting out of Montevideo, we're very happy. We couldn't hope for a faster turnaround of the procedure, and we couldn't hope to have our car sooner than this. The overlanding adventure officially starts today, October 2nd, 2024. That's it for this episode. Join us next time as we explore the wonders of Uruguay, the first country we overland in our Pan American expedition. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment with your thoughts, and subscribe to the channel.